Especially with that, I didn't cut an intro because I had low expectations of catching any fish. The water's so high, but there I hooked one. Ah, oh, it feels good. I'm on the river today, fishing for smallmouth. And, uh, I got one. Pretty nice one too. Um, there he is. Got him on uh, what I like to call the internet minnow. Um, I had it on from the other day when I was fishing and uh, I just tossed it right up in there and there was a little, little smallie right there. He felt like a horse on this ultralight. Oh that was fun. I haven't caught one of these guys in a while, so welcome to Fishing with Vance. Um, it's a beautiful morning. Fishing's been really tough, but uh, so it feels good to catch a fish. I thought that was a snag, actually, but uh, it wasn't, so good to catch a fish. And he was hooked good. He was going nowhere. Get him. Get him loose. This is a nice little smallmouth. These guys fight like crazy. They're super fun to catch. I got him on the uh, yeah, this minnow looking bait. He smashed it. Thank you, buddy. Welcome back to Fishing with Vance. Well, I'm going to give this another shot today. Fishing has been just really tough uh, with the hot weather and uh, the warm water. Um, been struggling to catch pretty much anything, really. So that's why I haven't put out many videos. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to scratch a few together today. Um, I'm back at my original lake here at Bragg and I'm uh, going to see if I just can't catch anything. Last couple trips uh, went to the river and went to the river, sorry, and also uh, to my other lake. And um, I'll, uh, at the beginning of this video, I'll throw those. Uh, I caught like one or two at each of those places, but uh, not enough to put together a, an episode of Fishing with Vance. So I'll throw those in the beginning of the video and, uh, and then we'll see what we hopefully catch a handful today. It's supposed to be a cloudy day, it's ahead of the uh, uh, Hurricane Ida that's supposed to drench a lot of water on Western PA tomorrow So I thought I'd get out here today and see if I can't catch a couple, but um, Hopefully I do we'll see what happens. Uh, I don't even know what I'm gonna throw pretty much everything I have and uh, Just anything that'll Catch a fish. We'll see what happens. Thanks for coming along today on fishingwithants.com. Let's get this thing in the water Got a nice small on here on the catter bait. Hadn't caught one in a little while, a long while. So. <laughs> oh man. Figures. Had to put on the catter bait to get one. Come on. These guys fight like crazy. They're just so fun. This is a decent smallmouth, too, if I can get them to me. Oh yeah, that's nice. <laughs> oh, my boy Catter, he'd be laughing. There we go. Wow, this guy got a chunk out of him. Holy shit, something took a bite of him. That fish felt like he was about five pounds. He's maybe a quarter pounder with cheese. Maybe. Wow, something has a gash out of that poor guy. See you, buddy. Yeah, some river monsters in here. That was fun. Thanks. Alright, guys. Uneventful launch. Like I said, it's nice and cloudy. Uh, it's 
pretty cool actually right now. It feels good. It's about 65 degrees. It's supposed to be cloudy today and, and then rain coming in later. And uh, I'm going to start out with a good old fashioned Sanko. I don't know if I got this guy pegged or not. I just think it is. So, we'll start with uh, the Sanko. Wacky. Uh, not pegged. And uh, let's see what we can do. I hit the usual hot spots. I think the strategy today is going to be. Uh, Strategies is fish everywhere. <laughs> a good strategy. Nah, I'm just gonna see if I can get him, find anything that's hitting. And uh, it's been tough. Um, fishing's been slow. But I am gonna check the water temperature just because I like to know what uh, what's going on with that. So let's get that out while we get started here let's see what we got um, the carp fishing has been shut completely off for me I've tried that a couple of different times and I've gotten skunked <clears throat> and um, so I don't know what's going on with that I'll stick with that though I really want to see if I can't get some fall carp um, the catfish has been slow too, so <laughs> it's just been slow all the way around for uh, for uh, for me. So let's well, see what happens. Got to keep swinging. That's, uh, that's the name of the game. Got to figure them out. Um, yeah, water is at uh, wow. Water is at times at 81 degrees. That's some serious warm water. So, I'm going to uh, I will uh, go to where I know is the deepest parts of the lake. Oh, there's a hit. I don't know. Oh, it's a bass, too. <laughs> That's a fish. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll take it. Oh, it feels good to bend the, bend the old pole here. Fish on. Ah, pretty decent guy, too. Love it. Thank you, buddy. All right. All right, partner. Take it easy. There we go. All right, I'll take it. This little, little bass here. He's probably quarter pounder and with cheese. He's close. He's in between. But uh, it's a nice, nice little bass. I'll take it. I'll take those all day. That felt great. Fish number one on the boat. Love it. All right. Well, I moved over here to the uh, to the rock line, guys. I didn't catch any more fish around the back. Uh, Law had to retie a couple times because um, <clears throat> I got my Sanko hung up. But uh, water temp still holding at about 80, 81 degrees. Trying to see if anybody's up on these rocks feeding, similar to what was, you know, that first fish I caught was up shallow and. Uh, <clears throat> There's a hit, finally. It was like a pretty decent one too. He was out in front of the barrel there. Oh yeah, nice bass. Real nice. Oh yeah, beauty. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Oh, he's pretty. A beautiful fish. 
beautiful. That's the way they draw it up there, man. It's perfect hook set. Get my pliers before I hook myself. That's the way they draw it up right there. Oh, it's nice. Oh, that's a beautiful bass with the colors on him. Got to admire him when you don't get that many. <laughs> that's a good one. That's uh, he's almost a half pounder there, maybe. So nice fish. All right. That's two. Woohoo. Two bass in the boat. Oh my, uh, my Sanko. Not pegged. Just, uh, I like a real small hook. It's the hook I use. Uh, I just, I just feel like on a wacky rig, this is the way to go. That catches less weeds. I don't like the weed guard. I use this right here, this Gamagatsu 208-408. It is a size 4. Octopus circle. There we go. That's what I like for wacky. So, alright. That's two. He was out in front a little bit, maybe a little deeper, because the water's falls off, or it's, I should say this way, this is rock line and it falls off, so uh, this is a little slightly deeper water right where I'm sitting, um, so, oh, there's a real hit there, <laughs> oh man, yeah, he, he smoked that thing, oh, that was cool. He hit that on the fall. Same spot. Where are you, buddy? As he's not as big as the other one, but man, he hit it aggressive. Nice fish. Nice fish. There we go. He's pretty. Looks just like your brother. Same fish. Alright, settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Look at you off here. There we go. He's a little smaller. Boy, he was an aggressive little guy. He smashed that sloth floating worm. All right, bass number three. Another pretty one. Healthy, beautiful fish. See you, buddy. All right. Ah, oh, man. Feels good to catch some fish. That was great. <clears throat> okay. I'm using a Sanko. This is the Red Shad Laminate my go-to Sanko and I uh, do not have the peg in there today I'm just letting it softly fall <clears throat> I feel like they're not gonna in this warm water they're gonna be a little lethargic so I'm just letting it softly float down to them that's, at least that's what I think I could be totally up in my sleep but it seems to be working so but the hooch right now is a big strikeout. The, the uh, whatever you want to call it. The, uh, the Cabela's Zoom, or the Cabela's Hoochie Coochie. Basically a plastic swim bait. Um, right now he's wearing the collar, as they used to say. Find it hard to believe. Um, last time I was here, the had some of those internet minnows, and they did well. But there's a there's a hit as I speak. There was a hit. There we go. He kind of hit that on the move too. Oh yeah, there's a good one. Barely hooked. As we speak, oh, nice fish. Hit that on the move. Yeah, that right there. What a bass is pr another pretty one. Very healthy, pretty fish. It's 
bass number four, they've been slow to come along. This guy's definitely quarter pounder with cheese. Um, beautiful bass though. Thanks for coming along, buddy. See ya. All right, I was just about to take the hoochie off. And it caught a bass. I'll take it. Definitely slow sledding. But that's how it's going to be until the uh, water temps start to start to fall a little bit and the bass start to feel like it's uh, they can feel the, the uh, fall coming. I think it's going to slow, but I bet you it's going to, as soon as we get a, a run of about a week of colder nights and uh, this water drops back down into the low 70s, I, I bet you it'll be uh, feeding feeding fest then so definitely have to be ready for that this rod set up is uh, this is my brother's old rod uh, he uh, he fished with this <laughs> he bought this when we had our bass boat this is the Heartland S let's call it a lumper rod and uh, I've got a, I think this is a, yeah, it's a size 35 Fluger President. I think I got a hit. Well, oh, screwing around looking at my reel and not paying attention. But yeah, this is the Fluger, good old fashioned Fluger President, bulletproof, size 35. This rod's a little longer. Uh, I think it's a seven footer, I want to say. Yeah, seven footer, medium. Two piece rod. I'm not a fan of the two piece guys, but again, this was my brother's rod. That's a hit. I got him too. <laughs> little guy he wanted some hoochie coochie and as uh, the fluke master would say classic hoax set oh almost got him in the eyeball paging dr. Hodas oh, but I didn't he's fine little dude he's definitely quarter pounder no cheese on him see you later buddy all right, bass number five, hoochie coochie. Love it on the lumper rod. Well, this hoochie's seen better days. I threatened to use the Albano fluke, and that's what I'm gonna go with if I can find it. The old Albano, Albano fluke. I like this bait a lot. It's a beautiful thing. All right, let's get the old flute going. Oh yeah, little, little pop, pop, pause with this. Oh, first cast with the Albino fluke. Yeah. Look at this little huh, freaking bluegill. Big old bluegill. He wanted some albino fluke action. Love it. Couldn't resist the albino fluke. 
It's a good bait. Real good bait. I can't believe I caught that little sunfish on it, but that's okay. Alright, let's try one back over this way. Pop that pop pop pause that uh, that fluke over top of the on top of the rocks. Yeah. Oh, and on the pop. He said, give me some of that fluke. Yes. Oh yeah. Uh, that's that's the way it's done right there. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh yeah, the albino. Fluke action. Yes, sir. Love it. He's quarter pounder with cheese. All this size, I don't care at all. He's a beautiful bass. Look at the colors on him. Love, love it. All right, little man. Well, he like he wanted some albino fluke. All right, fluke master. Shout out. I'll be fishing with the fluke master here soon. Looking forward to it. Haven't fished together for a couple of years, so. Stay tuned for that. We're going to be heading to Cross Creek and a little home and home action. Down one down by him his way and he's coming up here. So, but man, that was great. A little albino fluke. There, another one up there. Having a fluke. Albino fluke. It's a pretty nice one, too. Definitely my best bass of the day. Yes, sir. He was a. Uh, he was. What a, another beautiful fish. Got him on the albino fluke again. This is a zoom fluke. Let me show you what this is. This is a zoom fluke. Um, albino. So. Definitely working. That's a that's a good fish there. Rowing over for this lake. It's a real nice bass. He smoked that. So it's bass number seven. I will take it on this hot, warm water bass, but that's okay. He was fun. Bass number seven. I got I threw it right up there. I had my camera off. I threw it right up there to the bank and he housed it. So Nice bass up chasing up shallow. Got him on the zoom fluke. Beautiful fish. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, classic. Classic oak shot. Shout out to Fluke Master. All of a sudden, zoom fluke. Oh, beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Visualvance.com. Hey everybody, I forgot to cut my outro, so I'll do it now. My uh, my battery died, um, and before I could switch it out, I actually caught uh, two more fish that uh, I'll picture right here and right here. They were actually the two nicest, uh, excuse me, two nicest fish of the day, and I uh, didn't have the batteries in my camera, so here they are here. And um, it's a good time. I caught him actually right up against this bank, but the uh, sun's gotten up high. It's nice and sunny. So I called it a day. Ended up with 12 bass, which is way more than what I thought. And uh, I, had a, I had a great time. So I got a couple phone calls in the middle and, and uh, that interrupted some of the filming, but that's okay. So I'm about to load the Pelican into the back of the caravan and call it a day. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe, hit the like button, all that crap. And uh, we'll go from there. I appreciate you watching, really. And give me the comments. I love the comments. Let me know what's, what you're fishing with. And we'll go from there. Um, as we head into fall, should be really good stuff. Uh, as the water starts to cool, obviously. You guys know that. But as we get into fall, we should really get after some fish. So, um, 
Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time on fishingwithvance.com.